Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's severe weather update. So another day and another level 3 out of 5 enhanced risk of severe weather has been issued for portions of the state of Texas in the Orange Shaded region today, including towns like Midland, Odessa, and San Angelo. We have a slight risk of severe weather from far southeastern New Mexico through central Texas and southwestern Texas in the yellow shade area today. And then we have a marginal risk covering southeast New Mexico, most of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, southeast Kansas, Missouri, uh, Illinois, southeast Iowa, through Kenosha, Wisconsin, in the dark green. And looking at our tornado probabilities within 25 miles of a location today, the Storm Prediction Center has issued a 10% chance of tornadoes touching down within 25 miles of a location today across areas of West Texas in the Yellow Shade area. This includes areas like Fort Stockton, Big Lake, Odessa, and Midland. So make sure you're on guard for numerous tornadoes this afternoon if you live in the Yellow Shade area and have your tornado shelter plan in place. We have the chance for a few scattered tornadoes in the Brown Shade area surrounding uh, the yellow area in areas like Pecos, Kermit, Andrews, Big Spring, Winters, Bollinger, Eden, Junction, Sonora, and San Angelo. Uh, some of these areas, especially San Angelo, uh, got hit hard with storms and tornadoes yesterday. So make sure you're on guard for a few scattered tornadoes once again if you live in the brown shade area today. And then we could be seeing an isolated tornado in the green shade area surrounding that. In areas like Carlsbad, Ho Hobbs, New Mexico, Abilene, Brownwood, Stephenville, Kerrville, and uh, down towards Del Rio, Texas. Taking a look at our uh, damaging wind threat for today, we have a 15% chance of damaging straight line winds of 58 miles per hour stronger within 25 miles of a location today across far southeast New Mexico, western through central Texas in yellow. Make sure you're on guard for scattered damaging wind gusts if you live in the yellow shade area today. And an isolated damaging wind gust is going to be possible through most of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, southeast Iowa, into far southern Wisconsin in the dark, or in the brown area today. And finally, taking a look at our large hail threat. Once again, we have a significant large hail threat for much of West Texas, where the Storm Prediction Center has issued a 30% chance of quarter size hail or larger within 25 miles of location in areas like Andrews, Kermit, Fort Stockton, Big Lake, Midland, Big Spring, San Angelo, Sonora, Eden, Brady, Winters, Bollinger, in the red, make sure you're parking your cars in the garage today if you live across the red area. Also in areas like Junction, Brownwood, and Abilene, you are also in the hatch risk, which means you could be seeing hailstones of golf ball to tennis ball to baseball and softball size in this hatched area. Make sure you're parking your cars in the garage if you live anywhere in the hatched area today. We have a 15% chance of quarter size hail or larger within 25 miles of a location in the yellow area surrounding that. 5% chance in the brown extending all the way through the plains and the Midwest in the brown once again. Now timing out our storms in the 12Z run of the HRRR model, storms are going to explode across West Texas around 4 o'clock this afternoon as numerous supercells develop. Uh, all of these could be producing large destructive hail and tornadoes when they initiate uh, around 4 o'clock this afternoon. Could be, even be seeing a couple of supercells in the Austin area by 4 o'clock. Going to 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock, numerous large destructive hail storms will be moving once again across West Texas producing tornadoes as well and storms across central Texas as well. Into 6 o'clock, going to 7, 8 o'clock, storms continue to develop further east across the hill country, and then going into the overnight, congeal into a massive MCS, which is going to move across the entire state of Texas through the overnight, pushing through the I-35 corridor around 3 a.m. from San Antonio through Austin, through Waco, through Dallas-Fort Worth producing, uh, I believe, a pretty significant damaging wind threat. I feel like the Storm Prediction Center may increase the damaging wind threat across central Texas 
this evening and through the overnight, and then going through tomorrow morning, a continuous train of storms will move across Texas, which I believe will lead to a flooding threat as well, especially across areas of southeast Texas, which have been dealing with destructive flooding over the last several days. Taking a, break, a brief look at the rainfall accumulations over the next 24 to 48 hours, looking at a widespread 2 to 4 inches across much of Texas, especially central, uh, central west and southeast Texas, and we could be seeing pockets once again of 4 to 8 inches, some in the hill country, and unfortunately, some in southeast Texas. So make sure you're preparing for another round of dangerous severe weather and flooding across Texas today into the overnight. Thanks for watching. Please stay safe and have a wonderful day, my friends.